Hola amigos, what is up, this is Tales Firewalker, and welcome back to Let's Play Final Fantasy III. In the last episode, we... I think we beat the Ancient Ruins, let me check. Yeah, that looks familiar. Let's get out of there, actually, that cave music just kind of skeeves me out for a while. But anyway, in the last episode, we also got the airship, the Invincible, which is needed to unlock some of the next areas in the game. Now, first things first, I actually want to take it down here to demonstrate what all the Invincible is capable of doing. See that exclamation point? Well, if you pre press whatever you've got for your confirm button... Ooh, look at that. You can go over certain mountains using the Invincible, which is actually great, because it can take you over here. And this is a particularly interesting... ...town we can't land on. Great. Hang on, I'm gonna have to move our car. Beep beep. There we go. All right, the car has been parked, and we can get to over here to Falgabard, or Fargabad, if you're a fan of the old translation. Welcome to Falgabard, the place of solace for those who seek to train in the way of the Dark Blade. Ooh, I've heard of Dark Cloud, but never Dark Blade. Hmm, must be a game I've never played. Actually, I remember, like, Dark Blade was like, or Dark Cloud was like the only, uh, PlayStation game I played as a kid. Ark, how are you? Saroni is a big city, and big cities have very big problems. Aw. Oh man, that Alice. What a trooper. But, Dark Cloud was like, okay, so I had a friend who used to live around here, and... He, he moved out a while ago as well. He moved out a couple years ago, actually, I think. Maybe it was even before I started high school, but... Uh, he had a PlayStation, and one of my favorite games to play on his PlayStation, or PlayStation 2 he had, was Dark Cloud, which was super cool. I've actually... One of these days I'm gonna have to hunt down a copy of it and play it again to see if it's as good as I remember it, because I remember it being pretty baller from as a kid. The monsters of Rome at the Cave of Shadows north of Omer can only be defeated by Dark Blade techniques. Okay. So basically the enemies here and in the Cave of Shadows are based around the use of the Dark Sword. Now, we don't have any Dark Swords just yet, but we do have uh, the Blessed Hammer. <laughs> so... I guess I should explain this in case I didn't explain it in the previous episode. I think I did, but certain enemies, like that guy on the left for starters, have the ability to split when they're hit by attacks. Now, there are ways to circumvent splitting, such as killing them in one fell swoop, but the best way to do it is to attack them with a dark blade, or katana, whatever you want to call them. Dark blades prevent the opponent from using divide, and I think do more damage to any enemy that has Divide as well. I'm not entirely sure on that last part, but they're good, trust me. And Ark has just probably screwed us over. Yes, he has. I also really like these enemies, because their design is impractical and dumb. They just kind of look dumb. That's the thing. Anyway, let's finish up this encounter here. I think, actually, the uh, t UGC team I'm playing on is... Uh, I just saw somebody change their avatar, so... I think maybe our game may be starting at some point? Hmm. We'll just have to see. By the way, did you guys know that I was on a UGC Highlander team? I believe I may have covered that at some point, but... That is certainly, certainly some- oh wait, no, Ingus has low health. Oh good, Ingus did not get diddled. Huh. The enemies here aren't really splitting as much as I thought, other than that one, like, dragon hand guy. That must be inconvenient when you're trying to use the bathroom and... I mean... I guess sometimes you have to... Never mind, never mind. That, that was just getting into all levels of inappropriate, though was kind of reminding me of the song from Tim and Eric Awesome Show, Great Job, the, the one where he's singing about how he sits down when he pees. I've always liked that one, like, 
Tim and Eric Awesome Show Great Job was a really stupid show, but I like the musical numbers from it. Anyway, we got the Kotetsu and the Ashura here. Hmm, the Ashura's Wrath, I guess? So now... Uh, Raffia? What say we... test out a new job class on you? How's that? No objections here. So, the Dark Knight. The Dark Knight is a very good class to have in many situations. The Dark Knight is capable of using Dark Blades, and one of the only two major classes in the game to do so. Dark Blades will prevent the opponent from splitting when hit, which is absolutely great, and can save you a lot of headaches. I also do believe that Dark Blades do have a little bit more power than uh, other swords when it comes to enemies that split, and in fact, that guy will split right there, so... Gotta keep track of which enemies actually have the ability to split and which ones don't. Sometimes, sometimes it can be a little bit hard to tell. Oh no, Ark, you've ruined it. You've ruined it! You've soiled it! You've soiled the good name of Fyra. Again. Okay, whatever. So that was a very bad demonstration of what that's actually capable of doing. Oh, man. Um, fuck. Other than that, the Dark Blade is also capable of using a command called Soul Leader as well, which... Soul Leader is actually pretty good. It converts your attack power and job level into a way to damage all enemies on the field, which... Pretty freaking incredible, might I say. However, you do have to consume a portion of your health in order to do so, so... It's actually better to do it when you have more HP available to you. If you don't have more HP available to you, then it kinda, sorta, sucks. Well, I will say that. It's basically like, you know Cecil's uh, darkness attack from Final Fantasy IV? It's, it's like that. Except we're not going to be able to demonstrate- oh, yes we are. Soul Leader. Bam, 1998. It's probably a good year, I don't remember it, I was like- Four at the time, so... Yeah, that's that's certainly something. But now that Revia has Dark Knight powers... Look at that armor, too. Like, that's... It's kind of badass. I... I would believe that it's, like, directly referencing the armor that Cecil had. Or at least his, like, sprite in Final Fantasy IV, but I... You know what? No, I'm probably wrong on that, actually. It looks a little bit, like, strange and ornate. I don't know, let's let's get a better demonstration of Soul Leader as well, what do you say? So, as soon as that happens. As soon as Cure happens, too. Come on, let's do- oh, uh, nope, apparently not. Apparently they're just gonna get crits all over the place. Nope, Soul Leader. Bam! So, that's pretty good damage for all enemies on screen. It will always take up 20% of your current HP. So it's not based on maximum HP, it's based on current HP. So, you usually want to have a high-level party member using it with high HP. Other than that, however, Dark Knight's just kind of alright. I'm just gonna use it to prevent headaches in the next dungeon, but... Eh, I don't believe that the Dark Knight will prevent too many headaches. Unless its jump level increases. Which it is a which, that is a distinct possibility. Especially in the next dungeon, because I remember the encounter rate being awful. Oh man. And if actually we go into this item shop, I believe there's something we can maybe buy if we have money for it. No, we cannot, because we don't have the money for it, but the Ashura is here in case you want one of those in case you're using two Dark Knights. As well as the Demon Axe, which... Eh, pretty good. I don't know if the Demon Axe has the effect of Dark Blades, but... If it did, that would be really neat. It's kind of awesome. Nothing nothing over here? What is the point? I mean, it looks pretty, but what's the... What's the point other than that? Anything in this house? That's just a revive spring? That's okay, I guess. We got ourselves an inn. Uh, oh, I love how everyone is using the Dark Knight. Like, even the innkeeper is a Dark Knight. 
Why did we rest up at the inn anyway? I mean, we have an airship we can rest up in now. Actually, one of the things I do want to talk about is Dark Knights in the original NES game were called Magic Knights and could actually use level 1 through 3 magic except for Arrow. So they could even use, like, oh hey, I have the power of using... Uh... Whatever it's called. Uh, Cure. I have the power of using Cure. I have the power of using Fire... That's not the party member I wanted to do, shit. I gotta check the Mognet, too, because there's a side quest we can do later on. In fact, I think we might actually have the means to start it up. And... Not quite yet. But I, I will keep you posted on the side questing. That is a thing that could happen. Actually, I believe the tells for when we can do that is we'll have a new uh, letter from Princess Sarah, and we will have a new letter from Sid, I believe. So, that's something. Unless we already had the letter from Sid, I am going to check. You are the wrong Moogle. I do not care for you, I care for this one. Sid! Uh, no, you do not have the new letter for us. So I guess that's a little bit later, I guess. After we get all the crystals, maybe that happens? Or all the fangs? Either would make sense, really. But anyway, let's go over to where we need to go. And knowing my luck, this is probably going to be a multi-part episode as well, so... That's going to be fun, fun, fun. Alrighty then, come on. Oh, there's still statues in the way, we can't go there. Well, where is this Cave of Shadows, then? S seriously, where is it? It is, uh... Oh, I know where it is now. Fuck. There's a lake there? Here it is. Okay. And this is something of a maze, but it's more just along the lines of tedium. It's just like, oh hey, look, you've got an airship that can climb over mountains now? Oh, we need you to climb over all of these mountains. I believe actually since you're in a valley as well, enemies can attack you in the airship. But the cool thing about the Invincible is, if we do get enemies that attack us while we are in the airship, it does actually fight back. Uh, you not only attack, uh, actually can get into random encounters and fight back, but the ship will also have a support fire ability as well, which I believe inflicts 800 damage to every enemy on field. Which is quite nice. Uh... I do believe it is this way. No, it is not. Where the hell are we? It's it's not a maze. It's not really a maze, I swear. I'm just dumb. There we go, see? I wasn't lost, I was just lost. That's how that works. And before we go into this and get into the battle we're going to get into as well, because there is a boss there. Uh, we are going to save in the alternate slot once again. And this music, you never hear this music in the game. I like this music, it's a Hind Castle music. Some monsters in the cave divide and multiply when attacked by normal means. Okay. So the Cave of Shadows is also known as the Cave of Hidden Passages Everywhere. It's also where a lot of the late game items can be found, like Black Musk and White Musk. But basically, this cave is going to piss you off if you are not prepared for it, and even if you are fairly well prepared for it, it's still got a lot of enemies that can piss you off. Now, thankfully, the fact that the enemies have less numbers in this version of the game does kind of work for your benefit, but at the same time, the enemies are still... They... Enemies here are just obnoxious. Random encounters here are bad, and it's just a matter of, oh hey, we've got melee attacks and we've got numbers. Let's... let's do that, and the enemies don't give you enough experience either. I guess it expects you to go through and cause the enemies to split a lot for experience points, but that's just... that's just bad. 
And we were gonna equip the Dark Claws instead of the Fairy Claws, so... Now we have even more power. We're not super effective against Dragon-type Pokémon anymore, but... We're effective against, uh, ghosts. That's cool. Anyone got a ghost for us to fight? Anyone? Maybe this guy? Are you a ghost? Probably not, actually. Oh shit, this may have turned out to be a bad idea, depending on the enemy's next action. Uh, depending on how much power the enemy has, too. Mm, that, that did something. That did something as well. Ruffia's actually starting to climb up there in the damage as well. Now, one of the things I actually did beforehand was... Oh, he's suddenly kneeling. Take this with you if you wish to venture forth. Obtained Kotetsu. Alright, then fair enough. Oh, we could have just teleported you out, dude. We could have healed you. You didn't have to, like, vanish. That was rude. Alright, let's equip this Kotetsu. It gives us a slight advantage. Not too much, but slight. Slight of hand. And, uh, yeah, the Cave of Shadows. It's just not a pleasant experience. There's also a lot of areas in the Cave of Shadows that look very similar. So I got a Tranquilizer. I believe that casts Sleep on enemies? If I'm not mistaken, did I cast Sleep or cast Paralyze? Anyway, more of these enemies. I believe the horses here will actually split, so... Oop. That guy did not want any of that. He's just like, what are you doing? I'm gonna bitch slap you. Bam. You have been hit, good sire. Please don't split. Fuck. Ooh, cast Blazara. Ooh, that actually did... That, that did a fair amount. I guess. Uh, let us... Let us do stuff. Let us play. I am I am doing a lettuce play right now of Final Fantasy 3. Thank you for coming out. Um, and I'm going to be doing a cabbage play of uh, Final Fantasy 6 next. Actually, what would a cabbage play be? What would a cabbage play? Probably nothing because it is a veggie table and uh, vegetables generally don't do much. I should know, I am a professional vegetable. At least according to what my parents say. Ah, ha, ha, ha. ah, I'm going to die a lot, aren't I? Oh shit, I'm going to die in a group actually with these guys. I am I am actually going to run away, because back attacks and well I believe actually we don't deal much damage from the let us put you in the rear and have you guard. Ark, you want to shuffle back into the rear? So you don't get, like, killed in one hit? Okay, Soul Eater, let's do that. Alright, that wasn't too bad, but defend. Cura. Have you retaliate, actually, or just punch people, actually. That would be nice. Gotta do this tactically. I mean, Final Fantasy 3 is a tactical game. I think. I'm not entirely sure, actually. Don't quote me on that. Oh, you still had health? What? It's crazy. Oh, fuck. And because the new one spawned after I targeted, it didn't hit the new one as well. Oh, uh, I... I bet you can see why I don't like the enemies here now. Alright, come on, let's cast Cure. There we go, that was a good Cure casting. Thank you, Ark. You are the best. At math and space. And there we go, that was a back attack for you. I'm not looking forward to this. Thankfully we do have uh, high potions I can use, so that's good. I think. What job level are you, Ruffy? At three? That's not too bad, actually. Uh, no way we were gonna use a high potion on Ruffy. A high potion? Uh, 
let's use some other potions as well. Now, before doing going into this, I actually did go and uh, do some job level grinding on Thief. And that is because a certain item that we will want to get, especially for later on in the game, uh, can be stolen by a high-level thief from one of the optional bosses in the game. Alright, more tunnels that look all too similar. Okay. Alright. Oop, that's a dead end. Can't tell because all these tunnels again look the same. There are a lot... Okay, maybe it's not right now where the tunnels look the same, but there are very similar looking areas in this dungeon. It's kind of cool, actually, because it makes it look like you're just going in circles, but... Oh, uh, there's a new enemy. Kronos. Okay. What do you do? You probably split and divide and do all that kind of stuff because you're an enemy in this dungeon. Would I be correct in assuming that's- Oh, you do flips. You do flips and Shit! Shit. Flips and shit, emphasis on the shit. Let's get out of here, get out of here, get out of here. I- I legitimately want to get out of here, actually. Hang on, hang on. There is no shame in running away. There is shame in running away. 